Welcome to Make It Happen with me, your host, Maggie. If you're listening to this episode first thing on a lovely Monday morning, there is a good chance you have a nice cup of joe in hand. And I am here to tell you, you might want to reach for more. Current research is showing that your morning routine might be boosting more than just your energy. A study analyzed nearly 450,000 people over the course of eight years and found that people who drink coffee and tea have a 32% lower risk of stroke, a 26% lower risk of dementia, and a 27% lower risk of post-stroke dementia. The researchers theorized that the antioxidant and anti-inflammatory compounds found in both coffee and tea are most likely responsible for these benefits. Coffee and tea both also contain compounds that improve blood flow and brain function, which seems logical that this would contribute to the reduced risk of stroke and dementia. Pretty cool. And what's even cooler is that researchers found that the benefits start with as little as one to two cups per day. But what's even cooler, because again, I said you could reach for more, the most significant improvements in health protection was seen in people who drank two to three cups of coffee or tea per day. If you need yet another reason to chug your morning joe, it's also been shown that a higher intake of coffee is associated with a lower risk of IBS or irritable bowel syndrome. Some people feel that coffee causes stomach distress, but the urge to go is actually not the same thing as causing stomach issues. That's not to say that it can't, we're all unique, but a 2023 study showed that four or more cups of coffee per day was associated with a 19% lower risk of IBS and that a half to one cup per day was associated with a 7% reduced risk. The researchers didn't see the same benefits for non-caffeinated coffee, so it does seem as though the benefits might be linked to the caffeine in coffee itself. Obviously, if you're sensitive to caffeine, you might want to keep that in mind, but if you enjoy having a few cups each day, it seems as though you should be patting yourself on the back for a morning routine that's possibly helping to lower your risk of experiencing stroke, dementia, and IBS. There are so many studies out there about coffee. The research is pretty vast. If more coffee episodes are something that you would like to see in the future, let me know by dropping a comment down below this episode. Enjoy your coffee, friends. Let it power you to go make things happen. 